In this video, we are going to look at when we should be using degrees and when we should be using radians in IB Math Trig questions, especially in the exam questions, because even though this is a pretty simple topic, you can lose a lot of marks if you are in the wrong mode. Okay, so degrees and radians are both just for units and forms of measuring an angle, just like feet and meters are two different ways of measuring a distance, degrees and radians are both used. Now, when we want to be using degrees is in triangle questions where we might need to use the sine or the cosine rule or the area of a triangle. So a triangle question where they give you maybe 55 degrees or and 10 meters and maybe theta and five meters. And we want to use the sine and cosine rule or the area of a triangle rule. And we're going to be using these angles which are in degrees. So when we're using these rules with our calculator, we need to be in degrees mode because we are using angles given in degrees. So that's pretty much the only time you want to be in degrees, uh, which uh, is interesting because I think degrees is the measurement of angle which is most uh, popular or most commonly used amongst high school students. But uh, once we actually move on to some higher level maths, which we are now doing in the IB maths, we want to be using radians more often than not. So radians are very important in sector questions. If they've given you a sector that might be shaded, shaded in and they say this is 1.3 radians. Uh, radians are very important in these sector formulas because the length of an arc, this arc here is theta r, the area of the sector is a half theta r squared and the theta in these two equations are, are radians and need to be in radians. If you put degrees theta in there, you're going to get massive answers for the length of an arc and an area and it's actually not correct. So they need to be in radians. Okay, so if the triangle question be in degrees, if it's a sector question, make sure you're in radians. And then if it's a functions question where you need to sketch, so you might need to sketch sine x or something crazy like sine e to the x or any of these, your graphing section, you want to be in radians by default as well. Uh, because if you have degrees, it's going to be a lot of very different graph. It'll, it'll look like a straight line sometimes because it's actually massively zoomed out. And that's because on the x-axis, we put an x-axis, uh, radians, uh, we know that 2 pi, which is just some number, 6.28, that'll be the same as 360 degrees. So you can kind of see that in degrees, it'll be a lot more spaced out because 2 pi would be 360 if we were in the wrong are uh, in the wrong mode there. So as a quick summary, a rule of thumb, I suggest you're in radians by default for both your calculator and your graphing section, unless you come across a triangle question where you need to use the sine and cos rule and then make sure you flip it back over to degrees mode. Okay, good luck.